Hi students, as a part of polymers today, I am going to explain uh, about uh, the very different types of polymers. So whatever the polymers about which I have explained in my previous videos related to the polymers, like polyethylene, polyvinyl chloride, polystyrene, nylon 6, 6, petalite, uh, so rubbers, right? So rubbers like vinyl rubber, vinyl rubber, diacol rubber. So whatever the polymer about which I have explained in my previous videos, all the polymers are insulators, are insulators. That is, they won't conduct the electricity at all. But nowadays, there are some sort of polymers in the market which do conduct the electricity and their conductivity is in between the insulators and the conductor. So since uh, these polymers conductivity is in between the insulators and uh, the conductors, definitely we can say that these polymers will behave as the semiconductors, behave as the semiconductors. Now, these are the polymers about which I am going to explain to you. That is conducting polymers, conducting polymers. So the name itself suggests that the polymers which do conduct the electricity, the polymers which conduct the electricity are called as conducting polymers. And these conducting polymers are also called as blacks or melanins. Blacks or melanins. Right? And these are semiconductors because they will conduct the electricity in between the range of insulators and conductors. Right. So now let us discuss the classification of these conducting polymers. So these uh, conducting polymers are broadly categorized into three types. The one is intrinsic conducting polymers, the second one is blended conducting polymers and the third one is uh, extrinsic conducting polymers. So now let us discuss one by one. The first one is uh, intrinsic conducting polymers. Conducting polymers. Intrinsic means internal. So these are the polymers which do conduct the electricity with their internal structure. So basically, these inter intrinsic conducting polymers do conduct the electricity because of uh, the conjugation present in it. Because of conjugation present in it because of conjugation present in it conjugation now what do you mean by conjugation conjugation means presence of alternate uh, double bonds presence of alternate double bonds or nothing but uh, conjugation so for example if we take the uh, polyacetylene so polyacetylene as uh, the example so polyacetylene has uh, the conjugated double bonds, conjugated double bonds, polyacetylene. So conjugated double bonds means alternate double bonds, means double bond followed by single, followed by double, followed by single, followed by double, like that. So double bond followed by single, followed by double, followed by single, followed by double, followed by single, followed by double. So, this is nothing but polyacetylene strings. Polyacetylene. Polyacetylene. Now, in this polyacetylene, in this polyacetylene, double bonds are present. Alternate double bonds are present. And the double bond is made up of two bonds. Already we know that. The one is pi bond and the second one is sigma bond. Now, unlike the sigma bond, the pi bond is flexible. And the sigma bond is reset. Now, since the pi bond is flexible, whatever the electrons which are associated with this pi bond are also flexible. So, since these pi bonds are flexible, now the pi electrons associated with the pi bonds are flexible. So since the pi electrons are flexible, they will not be static at one particular position, at one particular point, at one particular atom. So what they will do is, uh, they will transfer from one 
atom to another atom. They will transfer from one atom to another atom. Now, what do you mean by electricity splits? Electricity is nothing but the movement of charge carriers from one point to another point. The movement of charge carriers from one point to another point is nothing but uh, the electricity. Now, what are the electrons? The electrons are nothing but the charge carriers. Now, here, the movement of the electrons, which are the charge carriers, is taking place from one point to another point. Now, since uh, in the polyacetylene, the pi electrons are flexible, and as they are flexible, they will move from one atom to another atom. And due to this, uh, this uh, particular polyacetylene will conduct the electricity. Now, this conducting polymer, this conducting polymer, that is polyacetylene, is conducting the electricity due to its internal structure, due to the presence of conjugation. And what is conjugation already I'll explain. Now, what do you mean by intrinsic conducting polymers? The polymers which do conduct the electricity with their internal structure, especially due to their conjugation. An example of intrinsic conducting polymer is polyacetylene. And how the polyacetylene will conduct the electricity so precisely, I'm going to explain you in the conducting of conducting polymers. I will consider the polyacetylene as an example for explaining the conductivity of conducting polymers. I will discuss this in detail in the upcoming classes or upcoming videos. Now, this is about the intrinsic conducting polymers. The next category of conducting polymer is doped conducting polymers. Doped conducting polymers. So, doped conducting polymers, what do you mean by doping? Since childhood you are studying that doping is nothing but the presence of addition of impurities. Doping is nothing but addition of certain impurities to the substance. So basically, the doping is being done in order to enhance the conductivity of uh, the substance. Conductivity of the substance. Now here, in the case of uh, the doped conducting polymers, either positively charged agent is added to the polymer, or negatively charged agent is added to the polymer. Whenever the positively charged agent is added to the polymer, then it is called as positive doping or oxidative doping. On the other hand, if a negatively charged agent is added to the polymer, then it is called as N-type doping or reductive doping. Reductive doping. Reductive doping. Now, either due to the development or positive charge, during the B-type doping or positive doping or oxidative doping or due to the development of negative charge during the N-type doping or negative doping or reductive doping. So what happens is the polymer will be capable of conducting the electricity. Right. So this also I am going to explain in the subsequent classes. So this is about a doped conducting polymer. And uh, the most familiar example of doped conducting polymer is emeraldine salt. Emeraldine salt. Textbooks. Now, the last category of conducting polymer is uh, extrinsic conducting polymer. Extrinsic conducting polymer. The name itself suggests external. So, these type of polymers do conduct the electricity with the addition of uh, with the addition of certain additives to it, not the impurities. Instead, we are going to add certain additives. If we add the impurities, then it is nothing but the doping. If we add the positive impurities, then it is nothing but p-type doping. If we add the negative impurities, then it is nothing but n-type doping. Now, instead, if we add a, another additive to the polymer, the polymer will become capable of conducting the electricity, thereby it will become the conducting polymer, right? So now accordingly, what is extrinsic conducting polymer? The conducting polymer or the polymer which do conduct the electricity with the addition of certain additives to the polymer. Now this broad category of, of uh, conducting polymer, which is so called as extrinsic conducting polymer, is further classified into two types. 
the one is conductivity element and the second one is blended conducting coil so conductivity element means uh, these are the extrinsic conducting polymers in which uh, in which uh, let us say that uh, this is uh, the normal polymer which is the insulator right which is the insulator now if uh, we add uh, any conductivity element to it if we add any conducting substance to it now whenever we add the conducting substance to it uh, now this polymer which was the insulator earlier now it becomes semiconductor one of the good example of uh, the conductivity element which uh, imparts conductivity nature to the polymer is carbon black so let us say that uh, this is the carbon black and this is the, the normal polymer so whenever the carbon black is added this is the conductor carbon black is the conductor whenever the carbon black is added to the normal polymer let us say that polyvinyl chloride now what happens is this polyvinyl chloride now becomes capable of conducting the electricity because this carbon black has been added and this carbon black uh, imports conductivity to this particular uh, polymer which is so called as polyvinyl chloride. I hope you so this is about conductivity element. Now the next type of extensive conducting polymer is blended conducting polymer. Now what do you mean by blended? Blending means what? Mixing. Mixing. Blending means mixing. So for the preparation of blended conducting polymers, what we need to do is we have to take the two polymers. One is non-conducting polymer, other one is conducting polymer, right? So for this non-conducting polymer, we need to let us say that this is non-conducting polymer and this is conducting polymer. Now for this non-conducting polymer, we need to add the conducting polymer. When we add conducting polymer to it, now this non-conducting polymer uh, becomes capable of conducting the electricity. So this is nothing but we are mixing uh, the non-conducting polymer with conducting polymer so that this non-conducting polymer will get uh, the conductivity property by which it can conduct the electricity. Now those type of uh, conducting polymer which can conduct the electricity by the addition of uh, conducting polymer uh, to the non-conducting polymer is nothing but uh, the blended conducting polymer which comes under the category of extrinsic conducting polymers. So in the next video I am going to explain about uh, how the polyacetylene is capable of conducting the electricity in detail followed by how the doping enhances or increases the conductivity of conducting polymer with an uh, example of uh, polyacetylene. I hope you understood this. Thank you.